like this a lot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, we're in Melbourne, Florida at the American Muscle Car Museum. And man, this is an amazing place. Over 300 cars in an incredible setting. But today, we're going to look at three generations of the Ford GT, probably one of the most iconic cars on the planet. This is going to be a blast. Let's do it. Mark, how you doing, man? Great to see you, Dennis. Great to finally meet you. This is, a, this is an amazing place. I've been doing this show for 25 years, and I've seen an awful lot. But I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like the American Muscle Car Museum here in Melbourne, Florida. It's stunning. Beautiful museum here. We're a 501c3 nonprofit here at the American Muscle Car Museum in Melbourne, Florida. Because of the nonprofit status, we do a lot of charity activities. Sure, sure. Here. Uh, we're not open to the public, but we have over 100 days a year of activities. We have over 300 vehicles here, and the beauty of what we have, everything is all original, and everything is kept in running condition here. And the facility is stunning. I mean, it's, you go in there and it's just, it's breathtaking. It's so well done, it's lit so well, all the cars are displayed so well, and then one of the beauties of this place, it's, it's all run by solar. Most people think muscle cars, big carbon footprint, and our carbon footprint is literally zero, zero. here. <laughs> zero here. The array of cars you've got is just amazing, but what we brought out today, and I've never seen this in one place, really 50 years plus of, of four GTs. What we have today here is we have a 1966 50th anniversary model of the Ford GT40. We have a 2006 Heritage Edition. And then, of course, we have a 2019 Ford GT in a one-of-one one flame orange metallic paint. You can't see this everywhere. No, <laughs> You cannot no. see this everywhere. Well, let's start here, because again, this is a, this is an amazing car, and I actually, this is a, this is actually a continuation car. It's Correct. It's 50th anniversary. I had the honor of being in the, the original car back in, I think, 97, and it was like one of the most amazing rides of my life. I mean, they're just, they're incredible machines. And then, of course, when the movie Ford V Ferrari comes out, it really, you know, if you didn't know about the GT before, you do now. Do now, yeah. And of course, the you know GT40, the the lore is uh, that the 40 comes from the fact that this is only 40, 40 inches, inches off, tall off the yeah. ground. What's the story on the continuation car? Uh, what Shelby American wanted to do with 1966 50th anniversary being for 2016 to commemorate the 50th winning of Ford winning Le Mans and finishing one, two, three, they decided to build 10 continuation cars. Just 10. Just 10. So they wanted to take the original blueprints build the identical vehicle, uh, the same 427 power plant, the same transmission, same exhaust, just as it would have been built in 1966. Were they all the this number two New Zealand paint scheme? Uh, you or? could actually go with three different colors, uh, just like they had three winning right. cars at Le Mans. And I thought the black with the white is a striking color it combination. It really is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty. So this really is a very faithful recreation. I mean, it really Correct. looks like they, they rebuilt built, the GT40. They built the GT40 wow. again. Wow, 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 wow. This is one of these cars where you really almost have to like crawl down into. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch your head really good with that. <laughs> Man, with the exception of the uh, Shelby autograph here, she really does look like the 66. Yeah. It's set up just exactly like the original. The one thing about these cars is once you do get in them, uh, they're surprisingly comfortable for a race car. Yeah, they actually have a lot of leg room. They mm -hmm. don't have a lot of head room, but no. they have a lot of leg room. And the gauging and everything is, is identical. I love how it's you know tipped toward the driver. I mean, this thing is a race car and it's made it's all business. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just stunning. That's what they call the bundle of snakes exhaust system, I think. Whoa. I mean, Pretty tight in there, but holy it, cow. it fits. If I recall, that was a Le Mans regulation. Those are suitcase holders. You had to have the ability to put two suitcases in the car, and that's what those things are. Correct. <laughs> it is just so jammed in there, and these just shake the earth when they fire up. 
But a beautiful engine. The 427, oh. you can't beat it. You cannot. 1966. You cannot beat it. And it obviously can take a lick it and keep on ticking. Yeah. It ran 24 hours at Le Mans. Yeah. One of the great things about your museum is everything is in running condition, which means these are. Correct. Can we, like, just zip them up and down the street oh, yeah. a little bit? That's a bit of a tight fit for you, Mark. Very tight <laughs> fit. Okay, so pretty straightforward, I think. We'll see. Wow, fires right up. Flying first? first what do you here. say? Here we go. Here we go. I just love the sound of this engine. Great sounding. Oh, man. <laughs> but you know, for for a guy my size, this is pretty nice, actually. You're literally right on top of the road. You can just see the road right in front of you. Yeah, you, you're right. I mean, the hood falls off. There's, it's Very. like there's no hood. Yeah, firstly, no hood. That was amazing. <laughs> that was taking me back in time, I gotta tell you. Um, but let's step it up. 40 years, right? 40 years, 2006 Ford GT Heritage Edition. This car is probably my funnest car to drive. You have a beautiful 5.4 liter, 550 horse supercharged power plant. Uh, you have plenty of room. Being 6'5 <laughs> and weighing 220 pounds, I can, appreciate use, that. <laughs> I can use a little more space, okay? This car is just phenomenal to drive. It has all the modern creature comforts, but it just has old world performance. Phenomenal performance. Just phenomenal. Well, and this is the Heritage Edition. It's the Gulf Race Team colors, Beautiful. which is so iconic. But you have all of the color combinations of the GT of this vintage. Is that right? You have eight That's, of these. I, I have eight. I have one of every color. <laughs> and that display uh, that you have in there is, is just stunning. You've got all eight of these, you know, radiating out from a center point, and in that center is, is, is your latest GT. But I couldn't pass up this color combo. It's the most striking color combination. It's my favorite color combination of the eight colors that they offer. When you see this, People see it immediately, recognize what it is, and it's just a beautiful automobile. Well, and this and, and this combo just takes you back to the you know the glory days of racing and stuff. I mean, this the gold colors were just you know, again. I mean, that was just racing. Easy to see on the racetrack. <laughs> you couldn't miss it. Well, you know, wheel size. And you know, look at the GT40 and, and and this. I mean, it's really a lot bigger. But they kept a lot of the lines. Like you know, you can the see lines them. are very similar, but this is definitely a lot bigger vehicle. When you stand next to both of them, you can see like, wow, this definitely has put on some weight. Like, you know, the, <laughs> like the, the typical American has put on a few pounds over the last 40 years. And that's why for myself getting into this vehicle to drive, there's so much more room. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can have two people in this car, still have plenty of room. You get two people in the 66 GT40. You better be good you're friends. You're tight. Yeah. You're very tight. Yeah. But the same thing where you got to get down to get into it, don't you? Left hand drive. Left hand drive <laughs> and the door opens significantly further. You, you know, yeah. And you have more roof height. So, gas, brake, clutch, and is that uh, other footrest? Uh, yes. And I love how the shifters can it over. I mean, again, it's truly a driver's car. And it looks like it just wraps around you. It looks like, you know, you just become part of the car. Can we take a look at the engine of this one, too? Yes, let me go ahead and pop it. Should oh, she be up. 5.4 liter supercharged 550 horse engine. Uh, so if you look at the engine compartment here compared to the 66 with the 427, totally different. Modern yeah. technology. Here. Completely different. And, you know, and, and frankly, a lot smaller. Uh, a lot smaller and actually pretty accessible. Very much like an older car where you can easily access everything. Well, you say we take this one and spin around a little bit too. Oh, you'll love driving this. Oh, I know I will. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful sound. Beautiful sound, and 
I mean, strong, but more civilized. Yeah. And the layout's real similar to the, to the GT40, real classic in its layout, too. Oh, listen to that. Oh, here we go. It's kind of a Beautiful long clutch. sound. This is uh, civilized muscle. You know, we're just going long here, low speed, and it's okay with that. Oh, GT40 yeah. is like, burp, 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 yeah. burp. you know, it, it needs to be up in the revs to perform well. This thing performs through the entire range. Yeah, you could drive this every day and stop and go traffic. Yeah. Beautiful, striking color combination. Oh, it, it's it's the uh, it is the combo. They all look great, but this color this combo looks is fabulous. Oh. Holy cow, I love that GT. <laughs> it's stunning, and you're right, it handles like a very civilized car with just tons and tons of power. And you can see the lineage from the GT40 to that GT, but then you step up to this, and that's kind of where it stops. I mean, it's also a Ford GT, but this thing looks like a starship. This is 21st century technology. It looks like a, a staff fighter would it be. It does, and this color, is killer. This was a special order, right? Special order color, one of one. It's actually flame orange metallic, which is a Bentley color code. Beautiful metallic. It's kind of a caramelly yeah, copper color. Yeah. And one of the nicest things about this is that it doesn't show the dirt. I love that. That you can actually have <laughs> a dirty that. vehicle and it can still look stunningly clean. And Mark, I see carbon fiber everywhere. The dash, I mean, it's just, it's all carbon fiber. Complete carbon fiber tub. And you know, right here, I still see Ford GT, but Ford I think it GT, stops right there. If you, know? you look right here and you have the three and you get generations with, you lined up. You get it up. with the noses, but mm -hmm. then again, it becomes Starfighter. I mean, you get out here and you realize that that's open from <laughs> here back. Correct. And from the side, you don't realize that. And then it looks even more outlandish. It looks more like something would come from a, a Star Wars movie. Yeah, this thing should fly. In this small parking lot here, you could get up to 85, 90 miles per hour uh, instantaneously. <laughs> you know, uh, unlimited hydroplanes, the cockpit of an unlimited hydroplane race boat looks an awful lot from the side like, like this yes. cockpit. And when you look at the back end of this, you're actually going to say, wait a minute, I've seen that shape before. And what that shape is, is what you see, like you say, with the modern speed yeah, boats, the, the where they're running well yeah. over 100 miles an hour on the water. Very similar design. This is just, I don't know another car that looks like this. It's just so crazy. And most people, like you said, don't realize that it's open all through the side here. When I was looking at this, I also noticed there's the center of the tail lights are open. That's actually venting, right? Correct. Uh, very similar to some of the other high-performance cars made today. Aerodynamics are key, and this vehicle from the back end is really aesthetically beautiful. Oh, man. And the wing goes up and down? Uh... Based on the speed of the vehicle. Right. And so when you get to the back end of the modern Ford GT, you can see where it's quite a bit different yeah. than the 1966 or the 2000. For me, it's from the nose back. It, it it's. You know, it changes. GT in front, it's, it's Starfighter in back. Yes. And the beauty is the engine compartment, of course, you have the large window so you can actually look and see the EcoBoost power plant. We're unlatched. I can lift this up, right? Yes. Because, I mean, that's, I can see as much through the window as I can see with this lifted. <laughs> not a lot of trunk space. It's not like the other GT where you could get in there and you could work on it. So it is, it is a, an EcoBoost engine. Yes. 647 horsepower. This is a completely different door design, too. Beautiful doors. And again, everywhere I look, it's carbon fiber. All carbon fiber. This one looks even more inviting and much more modern. Very modern with the steering wheel. Most of your Paddle controls shifters. are all on your steering wheel. Yeah, and, and whereas the other one had, uh, you know, kind of analog gauges, this thing's all screens and... All electronic, all digital. Oh, you have to feel like a fighter pilot when you're in it. Oh, my goodness, Mark, this is stunning. So we've done the first two. We really have to drive this a little, don't we? You're gonna love driving this. Oh, I know Stunning I will. Stunning <laughs> vehicle. Let's go. Boy, is this 
different. Totally different sound. Sounds more like a Ferrari. It does, doesn't it? It's still an eight-cylinder engine, though, right? Six-cylinder. Oh, it's a six-cylinder engine. Six-cylinder. This thing just looks insane. This is not like anything else. Yeah. Modern supercar. Modern supercar. Screens, no gauges, this, this tiny little rectangular almost steering wheel, paddle shifters. Oh my goodness. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage in a Ford GT. Happy motoring.